Hello, I'm Ian, I play with drones, and down in the south coast, and uh, in South Downs uh, again, uh, playing with the Mini 3 Pro. Yesterday I was flying with two friends. Neither of them were aware of the quick transfer trick where you can transfer videos and photos very quickly without having to mess around with the micro SD card. That was how they were transferring their photos and videos when they finished flying. Neither of them were aware of it and they said, Ian, really, that's the sort of thing that if you don't know it, you're not gonna know it. So um, quick video today on how to actually do that. It's a really, really good little feature. Reinforces yet again, the usability of the Mini 3 Pro. Why I think it's such an amazing little bit of kit. So obviously um, if you've got the RC version of the uh, Mini 3 Pro. You're used to just using this, uh, this remote. It's got the built-in screen. Your phone doesn't really come into it, but there is a way of transferring photos and videos very quickly uh, to your mobile device where you can then forward them on. Or if you've got an iPad or a larger, a larger tablet, Android tablet, you can do the same there. It uses the uh, DJI Fly app and the DJI Fly app has been set up to wirelessly interact with your Mini 3 Pro. All you've got to do is open up the uh, Fly app, and at the same time, you're gonna turn on the uh, Mini 3 Pro. Now, make sure you haven't got the uh, gimbal guard on because the gimbal guard, uh, the gimbal will go through its startup process and you'll get a little gimbal overload. Don't worry about unfolding uh, the, uh, the arms though. So once that's um, fired up, open up the G DJI Fly app. You've gotta have your phone's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi switched on. And then when you open up the screen, you'll see down in the lower left, you'll have switch to quick transfer mode with a link. So tap the blue link and you can see the little Mini 3 Pro uh, swiveling around as it tries to connect. Now the first time you try and do this you're going to have to, it'll prompt you to long hold the uh, power button. You'll see uh, different uh, flashing lights uh, next to that. You long hold that and it should connect. And then once you've connected you won't need to do that again. You can then view the album, uh, just tap that button and then right in front of you, you will see loading up all of the photos and videos that you have got stored uh, on the Mini 3 Pro. And the beauty of this system is that you can obviously filter between photos, just photos or just videos, or if you've actually uh, starred any of your favorites, just your favorites. You can actually click on them and then you'll actually see the low resolution cached image. Then down in the lower right, you will see a little download symbol and you tap that and literally within a half second, it's downloaded to your phone. Uh, it's a very, very quick uh, process. And if you don't have that little download symbol, it means you've already downloaded the photo to your phone. Now, if you tap the uh, arrow top left, go back to the main uh, page. You can click on the videos. And this is where I really am very impressed with this uh, transfer, the ability to transfer. You can see, again, all the different videos. So let's just go to this one down in Karnak. The other week and you can play the video so you can actually preview the video make sure it's the one that you want so this one yeah I'm starting to fly but I'm not flying very good so let's go to a different one that one there we go. that's a higher one that's the one I want so you can press pause and again you've got the little download symbol lower right now videos take a little bit longer but still very fast you know a 30 second 4k video is still going to be a good few hundred megabytes and um, you can see down here in the lower right, you can see the progress bar. It's already over half downloaded. And you've got the little dial, the little circle working its way around. Uh, now it's three quarters of the way there. And then there you are, bang, file downloaded. And again, you can see that the download symbol has now disappeared from the lower right because you've already downloaded it. So look, that's all I wanted to say today. Again, like I said, it's one of those things that if you know it, then brilliant, you're going to be using it all the time. But if you don't, you will be messing around with that SD card every single time you want to transfer the photos. This is a really quick way to get that photo down onto your phone and then you can upload it to Instagram or wherever you need to, uh, to send this video. Um, Mini 2 had this same uh, system and of course the Mavic 3 has got the same ability to have a quick transfer. Uh, what I do find staggering, uh, Avatar, 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 uh, still can't say it properly, um, yes, I don't think I've ever uh, pointed out the fact that the uh, micro SD card slot on this little drone is hidden inside the propellers. Uh, you have to bend the props in order to get the SD card out. And for some reason, wireless transfer isn't available on this model. Uh, the model that needed it more than any other model 
in the universe of DJI drones hasn't got this super useful little function. But there we go. Can't have everything, can you? Anyway, look, uh, as ever, hope you find this useful. If you do, a little thumbs up. Always helps the video cause. Um, I did a fairly meaty little um, uh, buyer's guide comparison. Eight models uh, compared the other day. Uh, working out whether or not you want the Avatar, the Mini 1, 2, 3, or some of the bigger models like the Air 2S. Uh, I'll put a link to that there as well. Um, should be useful if you're thinking about upgrading or whether or not you're a beginner and uh, trying to choose your first drone. Anyway, like I said, I'll put a link up there. And there we are. In the meantime, as ever, until next time, wherever you are in the world, stay safe and sane, have fun, happy flying.